Hi dear friends, my name is Professor Dr. Mahul Brahma. I am a Professor and Dean School of Media and Communication at Adamas University. I am a Fellow uh, at Bath Spa University UK and uh, today my lecture is on uh, CSR communication. CSR communication is a very, very critical communication because unlike uh, other aspects of corporate communication uh, wherein there can be uh, allowed a, a sense of pride, a sense of you know we were the highest uh, em, you know highest number of uh, people we have employed or we've, we've uh, made the highest bottom line or highest uh, top line. While some degree of boastfulness, uh, if I may use that term, is, is permitted because to make space in, 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 in today's crowded consumption of, of news, you have to create a niche and be the owner in that niche, be the leader in that niche. So, you have to say you're the fastest growing or, or you are the, you, you know, in, in, a, in a crisis you were able to turn it around and make the highest profit or, or you were able to, you know, at a point where everybody is retrenching people, you are, you know, your hiring is at the highest. So there may be, a, you know, to, to a sensitive listener, there may be a sense of pride associated with that. When you talk about CSR and communicating CSR, that is a strict no-no. Because the objective of CSR is to give back to the society. You are here for the community, for the society. You are doing business here and through CSR you are giving back to the society. So that sensitivity in CSR communication is very critical. Another critical element is empathy. In every CSR communication, sensitivity and empathy are the two key critical features that should be there. So, in one of my lecture series, I had talked about the protagonist on, on you know, on a series on corporate storytelling. So, here in CSR communication, the protagonist needs to be very, very sensitively and empathetically identified. So, while the company is spending, at the end of the day, the objective is to transform the life of a beneficiary, somebody in the village who is not getting electricity or water, you know, somebody in the remotest corner who's, who has no access to education and that boy or that girl has to travel, say, say a lot of uh, miles, you know, cross rivers and all that to reach that primary school. So, somebody needs education at that point. So, be it education, be it, be it uh, uh, water, be it electricity, what have you, whichever way, you know, you, your corporation is basically, your corporate is basically uh, investing or rather spending in CSR. That showcasing is very important and that showcasing in the right spirit is very important. So, in the post-digital era where you have so many social media platforms like Instagram, like Twitter, like uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, in that era and, and definitely there is the medium of television or, or news channel, in every medium you have to communicate in a very, very sensitive and empathetic way. So clearly when you talk about a protagonist, so again here uh, as I was 
uh, telling in my uh, corporate storytelling lecture that you have to tell a story through your communication. So here also in CSR you tell a story. I have headed CSR for a Tata Group company and, and uh, you know, started and run projects for it operationally, not only communicating. So I can talk about it from a first hand perspective. I have won several awards in CSR. Operationally, once you do it, it is very important to communicate to the stakeholders. And that communication has to be done sensitively and with empathy. So the most important thing in your CSR storytelling, in your CSR narrative is identifying the protagonist. So you identify that protagonist, okay? And that protagonist has to be the beneficiary. The story needs to be told from a perspective of how the life of the beneficiary is transformed. So for example, I started a project called Project Jyoti. I had given the name on visually impaired students of between class 8 and 12 from the affirmative action uh, community. And, and they were given a mobile phone, they were trained to use a mobile phone and a smartphone at that using a talkback facility. So they can see say 9% or 10%. But through the talkback facility, they know how to handle the phone. They even know how to take a picture. And the power that it gives, because see, in uh, when there is a visual impairment, visual challenge, you have to ask the, the father of the house or the brother to read out a newspaper. Here, you know, the student can browse, you know, through the talkback facility on his phone or her phone and read the latest news on their own. It is difficult to understand how precious it is for them but just step into their shoes. And so this story needs to be told through the eyes of the beneficiary and how this training from braille books to mobile phones has transformed the life. And that will in turn tell the story of your company, your corporate. So CSR communication is very, very critical because that touches people in a, in a very, very wonderful way. It's a soft power and it talks about how your company is concerned about uh, the well-being of the community at large. So CSR communication needs to be, uh, it needs to have two very critical aspects, sensitivity and empathy. And make sure that the protagonist in your CSR storytelling is the beneficiary. So that you can talk about how the life of the beneficiary has transformed. Thank you.